Okay, welcome back guys. We're going to be solving another question from the second chapter of Miriam textbook question 58. Uh, this is going to be an interesting question and probably one of the hardest questions that we've ever solved in this channel. And we have this woman that maintains a slow steady motion over the indicated 135 degrees range as she exercises her triceps muscle. And we know the tension in the cable can be assumed constant and the magnitude will be 50 newtons. And we need to determine and plot the moment of M of the tension in the cable as applied at point A about the joint O over the range of theta from 0 to 135 degrees and also we need to find the maximum value of the M and the value of theta for which we have the maximum value of the moment. So we're gonna look at this triangle that we have in here for different values of theta. So here we have the point O and this is our point A and this will be our point B and if we do the horizontal line in here we know uh, we have a right triangle here which this side is 525 millimeter and the base in here is 600 millimeter so if we call this angle here phi uh, we know tangent of phi will be 525 over 600 so our phi here will be tangent inverse of 525 over 600 which will be 41.19 degrees so now that we have this phi and also we have what we call angle theta which is which is this angle here theta and we know this angle is here 45 degrees the reason why i tried to find the phi first was that in order to show that our uh, phi is actually less than 45 degrees so the line that connects O to B is actually below the line that we have the angle theta starting from so our theta is starting from here to here or from 0 to 135 but what we can get from this part of the question is that we can find this little angle here which would be basically 45 minus so if you want to find this little angle here it will be 45 degrees minus phi which is 41.19 and that's going to give us 3.81 degrees and also we have this right triangle that i'm going to highlight in yellow so we have this right triangle here that based on the pythagorean theorem we can find the ob and basically our ob will be the square root of 600 squared plus 525 squared so if we calculate this we'll get 797.26 millimeter which is the value that we have for ob we can write it down here so this will be 797.26 and also from the question we know OA is 325 uh, we have as a given in the question and if you look at this it's not actually that hard to find the the AB in here if we do the law of cosine and if we use the trigonometry basically looking at the the triangle OAB we know our AB is equal to 790 uh, 797.26 squared plus 325 squared minus 2 times 797.26 times 325 times cosine of it's going to write down cosine here cosine of the angle between oa and ob which we figured is theta plus 3.81 degrees so our a b in here will be the square root of this amount which if we calculate it will get 74 12 48.5 minus if we calculate this amount here two times the other two we get 518 219 cosine of theta plus 3.81 degrees so now we have a b and let's call the other two angles here let's call this one beta and this angle here alpha if we do the law of sines here uh we basically have the side a b so what we found a b the previous step over sine of uh, theta plus plus 3.81 is equal to OB over sine of 
So our OB is 797.26 over sine of beta, and that would be equal to uh, the OA, which is 325 over sine of alpha. So the reason I did the law, law of sine in here is that what we are interested in here is to find the moment about point O, and the force that we have in here is the force that I'm going to show in red. So this is the force that we are trying to find the moment about. So it's the tension, uh, the tension of the cable that is applied at point A. So we are interested in that. And basically, if that's the moment, we are good. Uh, we can take any point on the line of action of this force for finding the moment. And it seems if we find the moment of the force at point B, if we dissolve it into two components, one parallel to OB and the other one perpendicular to OB, so we can see that the only moment that we have it will be the moment of T sine of alpha and the other side which is T cosine of alpha won't make any moment about point O. If we want to find the moment about point O moment of detention we have T sine of alpha times OB. So here our moment is basically and the position vector that we have is the line that connects O to B which we already found is 797.26 this is in millimeters so if we divide this by thousand we get meter and from the question already know that the tension is 50 newton so we have 50 times 0.797.26 sine of alpha and here our moment is equal to if we calculate this part in here we get 39.86 sine of alpha so all we need to to find for the moment is sine of alpha in here and if you want to find sine of alpha it's pretty easy if we just consider these two we can find the sine of alpha so basically sine of alpha times AB is equal to 325 times sine of 3.81 degrees plus theta. And we already found AB in the previous part. This is our AB in here. So if we want to rewrite our moment equation, we basically have our moment equation. We're going to call counterclockwise positive. So we have positive sign since if we look at the moment of T sine of alpha, we see that the moment is counterclockwise. So we have a positive sign for it. So if you just want to write down the moment equation, we have 39.86 times sine of alpha and sine of alpha from the previous part is 325 times sine of theta plus 3.81 degrees over AB and we already found AB in the previous part our AB was the square root of 74 12 48.5 minus 518 219 cosine of theta plus 3.81 so if you want to simplify it more you just have to multiply these two together and if we do that our moment equation will be so that's the answer for that part of the question where we needed to find the moment based on theta and obviously our theta can vary from 0 to uh, 135 if I want to draw the plot of moment about point O, so I asked ChatGPT to plot this for me, and if we do that, we'll get so here is our moment, and if we call our x axis our theta, what we get is something. So here we can see if you put this theta equals zero, so our sine of sine of zero is zero. So what we have sine of 3.81, which is a little bit higher than zero. So here, and if we go to one, so 135 degrees what we get is something like that uh, our 135 degrees and here it will be zero so that's the plot that we get uh, for this one and we just have to find the the maximum moment in here so let's call it m max and we also have to find the theta of maximum force uh, so let's go to the maximum of moment as we discussed previously, so moment is pretty much uh, the cross product of 
r and f or it can be written as r times f times sine of uh let's call it maybe sine of a which a is the angle between r and f in order to have the maximum of moment we have to have the maximum amount for sine which means our a has to be 90 degrees so basically we have the maximum moment where we have our r and f perpendicular to each other and in here it's gonna happen when we have i'm gonna show it in light blue so our maximum would be when we have something like this where our r and f perpendicular to each other and the rest is pretty easy because we know this side is 325 is the radius of uh, our movement here which is part of circle that we have in here so our r if you want to find the maximum of moment about point o basically have our r which is 325 times the f and our f is t which is 550 newton but keep in mind that the radius is in millimeters so we have to divide it by a thousand and if we calculate this we get 16.25 newton meter counterclockwise moment and that's the maximum moment that we have and we just have to figure out the angle of theta in here and that would be pretty much everything so if we get back to our law of sine in here now that these two are perpendicular to each other that means our beta is 90 degrees so if our beta is 90 degrees if we consider these two we can find sine of alpha easy so basically sine of alpha would be 325 times sine of beta which is 90 degrees so this is our beta over so we have the multiplication of these two so a sine of alpha would be 325 times sine of beta divided by 797.26 797.26 and from here alpha would be sine inverse of 325 over 797.26 which is going to give us 24.05 degrees and what we are interested in here is to find theta but keep in mind we don't need to go through the other side of the uh, law of sine in order to find theta because we have this triangle that is consist of so that triangle that we have we have three different angles alpha plus beta plus theta plus 3.81 and we know the sum of all these angles will be 180 degrees since it's a triangle so we already know beta is 90 degrees we found alpha from the previous step uh, 24.05 and we only have one unknown in here which will be theta and if we calculate this we get 62.1 degrees which will be the last thing that we need to figure out in this question we can actually put theta 62.1 in here to figure out if this equation that we found for moment based on theta is actually working so we kind of verify the equation that we have in here in order to get that uh, maximum moment 16.25 that we found and so yeah that's that's pretty much everything for this question if you guys understand the whole process of this you should be more than fine to get a full mark in this course uh this is probably one of the hardest questions uh in this chapter and hope you guys find this helpful let me know if you have any questions or any better solution to solve this uh that's the thing that i could come up with but let me know if you have uh any other better solutions uh just drop it in a comment that everybody can benefit from uh, the other solutions and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like and comment it's going to help me to reach out to more students and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one